Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn about results and reporting in Catalon Studio and we will see how to generate and create different types of reports in Catalon Studio. So I will go to my Catalon Studio and you can see this is the project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions. We have added some API requests and we have also added uh, some test cases here and until now we have not yet generated a proper reports although we have got the logs here we have the console and we get all the information here but we have not yet generated a proper report that we can share with the stakeholders so today we will see how to do that and if you see here in the project structure we have a folder called reports however this is empty and for test cases the reports are not generated in Catalon Studio and in Catalon Studio the reports are generated only at test suite and test suite collection level. So if you see here we have a folder for test suites. I will do a right click new and create a test suite and I will just name it as test suite one and say OK. So this will create a new test suite and here you can see they, we have a add button here. I will click here and it will list out all the test cases that you have already added and we can select the test that we want to add. So as of now I will just select everything and add to my test suite and here you can also see we have a run column where we can check or uncheck if we do not want to run some particular test. So we can check or uncheck from here and then after adding the test cases I can just hit this run button so this will start running the test suite and will run all the test cases inside the test suite which are marked for running and once this test is complete we will get a report generated so this is running our test suite now and you can see here now it is preparing the report and it is done so now if I go to reports you can see now we have a new folder by the name of the test suite which is test suite 1 and if I expand this you can see we have a new report and the name is the timestamp and if I click here you can see we have got this report which shows us the uh, overall details of the test cases so you can see these two test cases passed and then these two failed and then if you go down you can also see we have the summary here so you can see the overall summary here the total pass fail the catalon version host operating system platforms and then execution settings are here so just in case you want to validate the execution settings you can check from here then we have an execution environment section where you can see the environment details the host name host address os catalon version all these details are here and then if you click on this show test case detail you will see the details here about the log information and integration and whatever test you select here you will see the details of that particular test here so whatever I am selecting you can see the details here so in just in case I want to check what was the issue here I can click here and it will give me the logs and if I just want to see the information it will give me the entire information the stack trace in case there are any integrations I can see here so all this I can check from here so this will be very useful and also if you want to get a HTML report you can right click and go to open containing folder so this will take you to the folder where this report is stored on your system and here you can see we have a report.html I will click here and you will get a HTML report as well so here you can see all the details the pass the steps here and then in case there is a failure you can see all the steps the reason and step trace and everything you can get here so this is how you can get the report and also if you see we have this option for Catalon Analytics now you can also uh, publish this on Catalon Analytics and let me first uh, go to analytics.catalon.com so here you can log in with the same user and password that you use for Catalon Studio So I'm just logging with my username and password and this is the same one that we use for Catalon Studio. Okay so let me just log in now and yes so this is my account 
and here you can create a new project and then add your report so you can go here and go to projects and create a new project so I will just go here settings projects and let me say I will give a project name API testing demo and say create so this project is created API testing demo here I can just go to the main and main page and select my project here so I will just select my project API testing demo and of course I will not find anything as of now because I have not pushed anything here so it is saying feed me some data so I will go to my Catalon studio and here in Catalon analytics I will say access analytics now in case you have not uh, already logged in from Catalon studio it will ask you for the username and password in my case I am already logged in it will show me all the projects so this is API testing demo I will say upload so this is uploading the report to Catalon Analytics so once this report is up uploaded properly I will get the details here on Catalon Analytics so I think this is done so if I go and search this again or refresh this I should get some data here and let me refresh this and yes you can see we have got the data here so this is saying two passed and two failed and duration and then all the details here the status and everything if I run this again I will get some more data here so this was for a single test suite as of now so you if I click here you can see all the details here all the test cases all the details here you can go to any of the test case from here and it will go give you all the details and you can see all the error stack trace here as well and let me go back to test cases and here you can get the overall status as well so of course Catalon analytics is something we have already seen the basics in the earlier session so I hope this was very useful for you and this is how you can generate different kinds of reports in Catalon studio I hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching